What's up, guys? This is Kefis. Welcome everyone, it is finally time to begin WoW leveling Season 3. I'm so excited, it's actually been a little bit since I've leveled up a character, like maybe two months for me. It's only been about a week for you guys since you've seen me doing WoW leveling because Season 2 ended last week, Season 3 begins this week. We are in a new expansion and it's time to begin anew. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I have chosen a new server to level up all kinds of characters on start new adventures and see what happens on a brand new server. I still live on Airy Peak uh, for Alliance and Earthen Ring for Horde. That's where Kefis is with AIE, my guild buddies. But I'm just excited to do something new, do something on the side, and see what happens here. So that's what's going to happen. I've got a, a couple new servers picked out for Horde and Alliance characters. I'm going to level up all new characters and see what this new leveling experience really has to offer. But we are going to be leveling up an Alliance Paladin on Proudmoor because you guys voted and that's the class that won out big time. Actually, it was pretty close between Paladins, Monks, and Druids. So we're actually going to do a little bit of leveling with all of those, but this time for Season 3 we're going to do a Paladin. So let's get right into that finally and uh, make ourselves a character here. I'm going to make a, a male Paladin because he's going to be Kefis. Kefis will finally live on YouTube, you guys. <laughs> so yes, a Dwarven Paladin I believe is what I'm going to go with because I've already got a Human Paladin and, you know, dwarves are just awesome. That's just the way I feel like I want to go. That's what Kefis is on uh, in Classic. So let's make him live in uh, in retail. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're just going to go with... Uh, yeah, I like that kind of stony look, I guess. Okay, you just got to pick a face out here. Yeah, so this new character creation, I have been spending so much time just messing around with this, being at the barber shop. And it's awesome. Let's see what the new hair options are for dwarves. Okay, so we got that one. That one's kind of cool. Go with something like that. Ooh, big old mohawk. A <laughs> comb over. Whoa. Got these, like, newer kind of hairstyles. You know what? There's one that I've always liked, though. I'm going to stick with the old favorite. The uh, Widow's Peak long hair Vegeta style. <laughs> um, and now, let's see. We're going to go redhead all the way. Always the redheaded dwarf. Now... This is what's cool. Look, I can be Amish. <laughs> um, Got to pick a mustache. Let's go with this one for now. Um, and the beard we want. You know what? There's a few options here. Look, I love that you can do a mustache and beard separately. Now. You can, like, make your own unique beard. It's really cool, man. I like the big fluffy beard, personally. So I'm trying to see. There's that one, which is kind of cool. But there's also this more full one, which has, like, the little braids on the sides, which is also pretty sweet. So I think I might go with that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go... With, nope, wrong one. I want to go with th this one. Yeah, that one's kind of cool. I kind of like this. I like the simplicity of that one. Big old red beard, you know. Or do I? I don't know. It's I'm a dude. I'm like the most indecisive person ever when it comes to this. I kind of like the fuller beard, but this one you can see more of the armor though. So let's yeah, let's just go with this one right here. Although let's see what other kind of must. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> I like to look at this. Look at this. Look, all these cool different mustaches. That one's kind of cool. Uh. It's kind of crazy, like, all this new stuff. Look at that. There's that one. That one's actually kind of sweet, too. And then there's the, the one with the braids in it. Look at this, man. This is epic. All right, but we're going to stick with this right here. And we can always change it later. Oh, look. You can pick eyes out. I can make him blind. Uh, actually, no, I guess dwarves, dwarves aren't blind. No dwarf blindness. I could just have, like, the solid white-looking eyes. But uh, I do kind of like these blue eyes, though. Look, you can have red eyes. Red-eyed dwarf. Yellow eye. Whoa, those yellow ones are kind of cool. Holy crap, dude. This is crazy. Green eyes. Man, I like the blue ones, though. Honestly, the ones they got with me, I'm going to stick with. So, red hair, blue eyes. I like it. What else we got? Earrings. I'm not really an earrings guy, but we can look and see what they have. Holy crap, those are ridiculous. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not a fan of earrings. I'm, 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 I'm boring. What can I say? Definitely not going to go with nose rings, but we can look and see what they have. I mean... You know, they're, they're nose rings, whatever. If that's your thing, go for it. Personally, I'm uh, not a piercings guy, but I will be a tattoo guy because, yeah, look at these. Oh, look, you, look at these. These are cool looking. So, yeah, you can be like a wild hammer now and have, like, cool tattoos. Kind of digging that, man. I like it a lot. So, let's see. Let's go with, you know what? I'm going to go with this one, but we can change the color of it. Kind of like this dark blue look. That's kind of cool. Ooh, the red one's kind of cool, too. 
And then you got green and ooh, I kind of like this one because it's a little bit more subtle. It's not a little bit. It's not as crazy. Kind of looks like the uh, this one or the blue one, I guess. Like like the Braveheart, you know, like the paint they would wear. That was kind of cool. Do something like that. But I'm gonna go with this one. I kind of like this one. It's a little bit more, a little bit more subtle. So there you go. There's a dwarf, no clothes on, big old barrel chested. You know, dude, whatever. He looks awesome. He's going to kick some butt. And, of course, we're going to name him Kethis. Yep. And then, you know what? We did it before, but it's been a little bit. We are going to start off with Exile's Reach. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to play this as if I'm a brand new player. So I'm not going to use heirlooms. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. I'm not going to, like, you know, I'm going to play through the game as you would if you were a brand new character. So I guess that means that I will go through Exile's Reach and just follow what the game tells me to do next so if it's bfa or whatever that's what we're going to do but let's go ahead and get into this i'm going to log in i'm going to set up my add-ons and we are going to begin our new adventure so i will see you guys on the other side all right so here we are in exiles reach we're on a boat we've got our paladin here looks like we're going sword and board and yeah all right so we got our add-on set up we're not going to go with heirlooms i could set those up but i have all of them but i'm going to try to do this as if i am a brand new player course i want to have other characters on this server but anyways okay let's see so we got uh captain garrick here warm up by fighting a combat dummy okay so i've done this before actually on the channel whoa dynamic cam is acting weird uh but uh it's okay we're gonna do it again i'm gonna i i, I, I had mixed feelings about um the, the new player exiles reach experience but uh, i want to give it another 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 chance okay so yeah, so that, I don't know what dynamic cam was doing there, but okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn that. Wow. And we leveled up already. We're level two now. Okay. Did we get anything new? Uh, oh, yeah, we did. So, Shield of the Righteous. We'll put that in. Okay, there we go. Talk to this guy. And we're going to spar with Private Cole. Whoops. Didn't mean to attack that thing, but okay. Um, Private Cole. Yeah, I don't know what dynamic cam is doing, but... Uh, all right, yeah, so we got Shield of the Righteous now, which makes things even better. Whoop, 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 whoop. Bam. And it works off the global cooldown, too, which is crazy. So it's kind of a nice to start off as a tank. You know, you'd think you'd start off as a ret, but uh, I don't know um, what spec I should go leveling on this one. You guys let me know. Should I go not holy? Holy is not an option. Should I go ret or um, should I go tank? Fine, uh, prot. There we go. Find Captain Garrick. Okay. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? It's got dark. So a lot of the effects are actually working now that we're playing live. Um, they weren't working when I when I did this in the on the PTR. So it's kind of nice to actually see some of these things. Okay, so okay, we're shipwrecking now. I assume that's what's up. Is there gonna, yeah, okay, cool cutscene. Let's see what happens here. Sorry, I kind of skipped the intro cutscene. I didn't even think about it until after the fact because uh, I was getting my add-on set up, but I didn't I didn't show the intro cutscene. So. But it's it's pretty standard, you know, um, you know, your alliance and all that stuff. So yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna say this right now. I, I think it's really cool um, to see, you know, different, you know, races of humans. Um, there's a lot more, you know. I don't want to use the D word because I feel like it gets overused, but there is a lot more, you know, I guess diversity. There's a lot more of that. There's a lot more, you know, variation on what people look like, and I think that's awesome. So. I do think that's really cool. So, uh, recover six first aid kits. Um, okay, so we're gonna go do that. I think we're fighting murlocs. I, if I listen to what they're actually saying, you know, I have I have my volume turned down a little bit, so it doesn't come through too heavily on the audio. But uh, looks like there's a lot of people here um, fighting, so that that could be uh, slowing us down a little bit. But uh, we're not speed running. I've I've heard that you can level up in WoW now insanely fast. Um, of course, if I use my heirlooms and all that stuff, it might speed. People say like, you know, you don't get an XP increase from heirlooms. You do if you you if you rely on rested XP. Uh, from what I understand, people are sleeping pretty heavily on how much that can speed up your leveling. Because if you if you build up your rested XP, especially if you're a Pandaren, because like they can level like they can get like 300% rested XP. So like three levels worth of rested XP, and then you get like a 60% reduction of the rested XP spent. And now you're suddenly having a ton of experience um, that, that you're not, you know, that you're not using on rest. It's like you're doubling your experience for a long time, um, which 
really, like, the higher your level, the more that matters. Because, like, at lower levels, you spend that rest XP really fast because you're leveling up faster. But at higher levels, like, it, it can really make a difference. So that's kind of cool. All right. So got our Murlocs done. Um, you know, so that's cool. I, I actually think that, you know, like, from, from what I could, like, from what I've seen and, like, from what little I've done, you know, um, no like, I've leveled up a lot of my higher level characters to max for the for the macros uh guides and stuff because i want to try to get i wanted to be at least level 50 because there's not a whole lot that that changes outside of the covenants in in shadowlands you know in terms of like your class there's not a whole lot there's a couple classes that have some some passive or some uh extra abilities that are added on you know post level 50 but anyways i was i, was, I leveled up a little bit and i can tell you it is really fast um i really like the way classes feel now i think that they've done a lot to improve on a lot of classes um but like just getting to ex experience the entire leveling you know process um outside of what little i've done outside of this character you know um it, it, it seems like it's a lot of fun so i was pretty i don't know i wouldn't say that i was too harsh i, I like to give a perspective of the game um because like i, I guess if people want to know you know what my perspective is coming into wow like i'm not going to give you all positive i'm not going to give you all negative that's not my i don't want to do that i know that like there's a lot of people that they don't want to hear any criticism of this game um and if that's you then you may not always like what i have to say but at the same time i'm not just going to sit here and be negative all the time either just for the sake of it i i guess if you want to understand me like i'm not like i'm a gamer i've been a gamer my whole life i've played lots of different video games i still play lots of different video games and I come from that perspective. So when I when I talk about this game and, and where things are and, and how I feel about it, it's from the perspective of not like is this better for like compared to what it used to be like is well is it improved and is that enough? Like I compare well to other games, and I and I also compare you know well to just you know my history of playing games and and not only well as it was before well compared to other MMOs well compared to other non MMOs. Um, you know, other RPGs, other games, open world games, that kind of stuff. Um, and, and so that's sometimes like you'll get a perspective, you know, my, my perspective from from that angle, if that makes sense. So like if I say, you know, uh, the character customization, for example, is pretty good for WoW. Yeah, it is really good for WoW. Is it good compared to other games? Well, it, it's still a little bit like it's definitely better than what WoW has ever had. But if you're going to compare it to other MMOs or even other just character creation games, I think it's still, it, you know, it's, it, it, there's a lot of room for improvement there, if that makes sense. And that's that's oftentimes the perspective you're going to get from me. For there, like, there are a lot of people that play World of Warcraft, and that's the only game that they play. And so, you know, that might not, you know, that that they may not see that perspective very much. Um, and so, like, I try to give a perspective as as it, you know, as for me. As someone who I'm a gamer, that's what I do. I play lots of different video games. I, I play old games. I play new games. Um, there are times where, to be honest, I I wonder, like I, I feel like maybe, you know, I'm an old, you know, just an older guy who's been playing games, and I'm just like I feel like an, an old, <laughs> you know, just an old old person that just you know is out of date, you know, not in touch with what the kids like nowadays. I don't know, um, you know, and so I I have certain values for for what I like in games that, you know, that aren't in a lot of games nowadays, um, I guess if that makes sense, like uh, certain levels of difficulty, certain levels of inconvenience are preferences that I have sometimes. So like you'll get that perspective and I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, you know, like when it, when, it, when I talk about WoW, when I talk about what I think about the game, uh, and this is important because we know we're moving into an expansion, um, you know, and so far, like I'll say this, like I... I've been having a lot of fun with the pre-patch, going to Ice Crown, doing a lot of that stuff. The little bit of leveling that I have done. I like the way classes feel now with um, with ranks. You know, spell ranks coming back. I think that's kind of neat to, to just kind of... The way it feels to progress as a character. I think that's pretty good stuff. Um, you know, but like at the same time... Hang on a second. Did I get any more abilities? I get, ooh, I got Judgment. I should probably pay attention to what I'm actually unlocking here, huh? Okay, that'll be fine. Alright, so Judgment. Crusader Strike. Yeah, so she. This is just like a tutorial, um, <laughs> basically. Um, so yeah, like you know, like I like a lot of what I'm seeing. But as time goes on, and as we do this stuff, you're going like I'm going to always. You, one thing that you can 
rest assured about me is like, I'm always going to give you my honest opinion. I'm not going to give you an opinion because it's what p people want me to say. Uh, whether that's people that like the game or don't, I'm not, I'm never going to like, I don't care if, if I, if my opinion gets me a thousand dislikes and there's like Twitter wants to cancel me or whatever, like I'm going to give you, you know, my honest opinion always. That's what you're going to get whenever you, if I'm going to give an opinion and I, I I'm not afraid to give my opinions, uh, I'm going to give you my, my honest opinion. Um, so like, you know, for example here, I think that like with Exiles Reach, it might be good for new players. It might help new players out a lot, uh, to understand the basics of the game. I think, in my opinion, and I still feel this way, I feel like it's a little bit handholdy. Personal opinion. Um, for new players, it might be a little bit easier, but, I mean, when I played WoW way back when, many, many, many years ago, and I felt lost and overwhelmed, that's a, a feeling that I actually kind of have a lot of value for, uh, because it made the world feel big. Um, when everybody starts off in the same location, you know, I, I feel like it takes away from that experience. Does it add to other things? Well, like I said, it makes, I don't know, it makes the game uh, more accessible. It makes it easier to understand the basics, I suppose, when you're starting out. Um, and again, that, that can be a good thing. It, it can also take away from your sense of discovery. So everybody's going to have their differing opinions. Um, I will say, in terms of leveling, it's very fast. Um, you know, so, like, there's that. Uh, but... You know, at the same time, like, I don't know. It's just, like, so I have mixed feelings about it. I don't think it's, like, is it designed poorly? No, not at all. It's not designed poorly at all. It's, you know, it's got a little story here. Um, cool characters, I suppose. I mean, for what little there is, you know, you, you kind of get a, a taste of the game, you know, which, again, that that's... And that's when I say, like, the part of me that I wonder sometimes if, like, I'm just... Out, not I don't want to say out of touch, but just I value things from video games that are just kind of not things anymore because you know, video games have changed, maybe even, like, you know, younger people or people, newer gamers or whatever are, are think, think differently, if that makes sense. So, that's what I say when I say, like, sometimes I feel like an old man, and that's, that's kind of like with this, some people nowadays might like a game that has, uh, like, just, I, I, I don't want to sound kind of same, but say holding your hand, but, like, you know, it holds your hand a little bit, you know, it tells you everything, it lines, it, you know, sets everything up for you. Some people might value that, I suppose. And if that's you, that's fine. That's 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 cool. I, you know, I, I sometimes it just depends for me. Sometimes like I'll play a game and I'm like, man, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. This is really confusing, you know. And so like I get the value of it. Um, but I'm reminded of a lot of like the trend back in like the mid 2000s when it felt like every game had some crazy long 40 minute long tutorial. There he is. I knew there was like a rare here somewhere. Um, you know, so like I, I guess like. You know, like, I, I never really liked those long tutorials. I, I always thought they like, they take too long. Like, I'm trying to give a good example of a game. Like, I'll play a game, and I'll think, man, I like this game a lot, and I want to replay it, but it has this long tutorial, and I don't want to sit through it. You know, like, there will be games like that where I'm like, oh, man, I don't know, you know. Um, oh, I forgot we can share. Might as well. <laughs> Might as well get that experience and get that done. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, like, that's, that's an example. Like, so like, this feels like a tutorial to me. Um, and people are going to have different opinions about that. I prefer a less handholdy experience. Uh, like I've been playing this game called Onward. Uh, it's very unpolished, uh, very reminiscent of classic RPGs that didn't hold your hand. And it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, once you really start to understand how it works and you figure it out for yourself. Um, sometimes a, l a lack of polish is, is not a bad thing. Sometimes it's just not. It's just sometimes like when you over polish something, it, it, it takes away a lot from the experience. Does this take away from the experience? I mean, depends on what experience you're talking about. You know, it depends on what kind of experience you want to have, I suppose. I guess the type of experience that I value, which I think, you know, um, if you've been playing for this this game for a long time, that old experience, like trying to recapture that original experience is very difficult because it's something that you can only do once. Once you know everything, you kind of know it. You can't unknow things. Um, you know, so like it doesn't really... You know, it doesn't really matter for you anymore. It's just like whatever. This is a new, a new piece of content, I suppose, which is kind of nice, I guess. Um, but if I'm like being, like, if I'm trying to think back to like when I first played WoW, um, my first experience, I valued a lot. You know, uh, looking back, and it's not necessarily an experience that I feel like I would have now, if that makes sense. So that's kind of like my my thoughts on that. Okay, so. Okay, there we go. I was waiting for this thing. I kind of remember a lot of this stuff now. But at the same time, I think that what you do here is pretty cool. I think it's, like, fun stuff. You, you get to, like, 
you know, um, like do weird quests like this. It's pretty straightforward. You know, it's going to help new players understand what they're doing. So it's just a different experience, I guess. So like, it just really depends on on you and what you value. And I, I guess I could keep saying that. But yeah. Anyways, stuff like that. You know, we're gonna like, as we go through this leveling series. Um, you know, Shadowlands is going to you know be fully out. We're going to be playing through that, and I'm going to talk about things that are happening in the game. As I always do, and sometimes you might agree, sometimes you might not agree with what I have to say, but I hope that at the very least you're someone that can um, value that you're getting an honest, sincere opinion. And and, and hopefully, because that's what you're always going to get. You're never going to, I'm never going to be someone that tell says what someone wants to hear, whether it's, you know, not, not, you know, a, you know, people that watch, uh, certain people in the community. Um, you know, or whatever, I, I'm going to give my opinion, and, that, and that's that's what you're going to get. So, yeah, that's I guess if that makes sense. <laughs> so, yeah, so they're trying to summon, like, some type of dragon or, or something. We're going to stop it. Fun times are being had. It's pretty cool. I actually like the, the one thing about this experience I do like is the zone. I like the big fortress castle thing off in the distance, uh, working our way there, that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, some of the quests are pretty fun. Um, we do have some gear and see this is kind of a new experience for me kind of because I've been using heirloom gear for leveling Like this is a new old experience. <laughs> I've been using heirloom gear for leveling for a very long time So now like there's a little bit of excitement in terms of like always looking for new gear um, And you know what little I what little leveling I've done since you know since the patch um, You know outside of the obviously outside of the series like um like finding gear it does it does matter a little bit it's not been entirely easy like it was pre-patch at least in my experience i actually have died a few times being careless or just making silly decisions like just underestimating you know the game because of how the game used to be um so like it, it is kind of cool to have to hunt gear i'm excited to kind of do that and it's you know like I won't be able to take advantage of the of the heirloom gear, which is fine. I, you know, we're gonna like I don't know how long of a series this will be. I don't know how long it's gonna take us to level up, but um, let's see, ride the giant boar. Oh yeah, so we get to ride this giant boar. It's really cool. Um, but I will say, so like when we when we did the voting, um, Paladin won pretty heavily, uh, but I fully intend to level up characters after this. So like I've actually created several characters. Uh, we're going to level up some alliance characters, some horde characters, and I'm just going to go off of what's, uh, what, what, what the voting has already kind of said. What's kind of cool is, so I didn't know this at the time of making the, the voting list, but, um, as a death knight and a, um, demon hunter now, you actually start at a much lower level, so you actually level up, uh, like every other class. So we're going to level up, eventually we're going to level up a Death Knight and a Demon Hunter on here as well. So every Monday for like the longest time is going to be uh, leveling up characters. That's not going to change. And then Wednesday for a while is going to be WoW Classic leveling. And then obviously if we move into new expansions, we're going to level up other characters. Uh, if not, then after we're leveling up the Warlock on WoW Classic Wednesdays, we're going to level up a Hunter. Because that's something I want to do again. I like I like Hunters um, a lot. I'm excited to level up another another one, so that'll be kind of fun. So, yeah, leveling is not going anywhere on this channel. We are going to level up every single class on Monday. Uh, at, we finish Paladin, then we're going to move to the next class, and, and so on and so forth. So, like, I've got new serps. So, like, I still, like I said in the beginning, I have, you know, um, my Earthen Ring Horde characters and my Airy Peak Alliance characters uh, with my guild buddies and stuff like that. And that's not going anywhere. But I wanted to kind of start over again. I wanted to kind of try something new. Um, you know, and so what we're going to do is we're going to level up, I'm going to level up Alliance characters here on Proudmoor. I'm going to do classes I haven't done, and I'm leveling up other classes that I've already done. And then on Malganus is where my new Horde characters are going to be. I just kind of picked those servers. They seem like decently populated servers, so, um, that's where I'm at. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I want to join any guilds or not. I don't know what's up with that. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. So just wanted to try to start fresh and level up a bunch of new characters. I, you know, leveling is going to be a lot faster now, obviously. So that's cool. And just kind of get to re-experience how leveling and how classes feel, you know, as you level up because, you know, they have changed things a little bit. So I'm excited to do that. Um, 
And uh, yeah, so that's that's kind of going to be cool. I've, you know, like I have, I did start a uh, since because like I like I will be honest, I created this, I created this character and recorded it a couple weeks ago, and I'm actually starting to level it up now. So um, that that's kind of like what. So I have leveled up a little bit since since creating this character on other characters. I uh, started a a demon hunter, and I was leveling up like a demon hunter in Stormwind, which was kind of crazy. Um, kind of a funny experience. So, you know, just little weird things like that. Um, but, alright, so that's yeah, teaching them about buying and selling things, that kind of stuff is, it's whatever. Um, so let's see what we got here. So, me, uh, okay, so now we're gonna go do this, I think there's, a, yeah, the spider thing down there. That's gonna be kind of cool. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. And if you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook, and if you'd like, you can support my work on Patreon. Links to all that stuff can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.